Welcome back guys to a vlog today or if you're new to this channel welcome today I am going to Queen Mary's or actually I've already gone this is me afterwards and I'm just going to talk a bit I've got some footage as well for you guys to see so the way this video is going to work is I'm just going to talk about what happened today then I'm going to give my views and my experiences and what I thought about the uni and just different aspects and stuff like that and then I'll just end with a bit of stuff about like uni applications and stuff like that in general for once we have an A-level related video well not really A-level but it's not a GCSE video for once I am I'm starting to branch out a bit from the GCSE last minute tips video. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Queen Mary University is one of the choices that I potentially want to go to for university. There's a long list of unis that I potentially want to go to and I feel like the reason I'm going to these open days is to really work out which ones are for me. The first talk at Queen Mary, because I did the afternoon talk on the Saturday, was at 1.15 I think it was. It was some welcome talk or something. And yeah, I made my way towards Queen Mary University. I think it was the Mile End campus specifically. I went with my friend Kailas as well, as you can see over here. and. And overall the journey is pretty nice. The place was very busy at first when I was like traversing through and it just looked like a typical London street until I saw the university and walked in then it just felt like its own mini city in a way and everything felt more secluded. I like that I prefer something like that rather than just having like cars everywhere and just I prefer something a bit more secluded and a bit more like community based if that makes sense. Everything was so unorganized at the very start that I had no clue what was going on. I got like lost at the very start. I had no clue where to get to for the talk and I had this map with me but the map didn't help at all and I was just like walking around just seeing the place and stuff and then I managed to find this like extra extra long queue there were so many people there very very busy which I was not expecting I was not expecting people to spend their Saturday afternoon at a university but fair enough <laughs> Okay, so so far Queen Mary's has actually been really good. Um, purely because you can see my bag, I've got like a lot of free stuff, like I've got some highlighters. Okay, I just want to showcase some of the stuff I got. I have a I have a tote bag here. I was literally, I was searching the entire place for this and I finally got it. I know it's history, but it's fine, it's okay. I've got like some other free stuff as well. I managed to get some revision cards. Uh, these are cool. I literally went to the English department only to get all the... Yeah, I know, but like, it's nice to have, you know. Uh, some, some books. I just got so many things. I literally just walked up to them, didn't ask them any questions and just like grabbed everything they had. I even got like got one of these I think that's quite cute yeah I don't know the people are really helpful as well uh, honestly it was a good vibe I went to the medicine building where there was like a lot of students who talked about how it was like to study medicine in Queen Mary's and that was very useful as well overall just like walking around seeing the university it was a very good experience so let me start off with the campus let me give it out of a 10 from just my open day experience I'm gonna say a solid 7 out of 10 which seems a bit harsh but it was like at the very start I felt a bit like what is this place but then I got used to it as the day went on and like it's got a few really nice looking places and there are other places in the campus obviously I only saw this one campus apparently the other campuses look really nice this campus specifically was a bit overall it was okay I didn't really like the location that much because it was still like if you were on the edges of the university you could just hear like the traffic and everything I don't know I would prefer something a bit more like secluded but that's just me is it in focus I can't tell I, I, I literally cannot see uh, who cares also I got some seeds yeah one of the people there saw that I was taking all the free stuff and they were like take this as well I was like okay should always take advantage of free stuff I've got a nice little badge over here as well should I put this on right now just like that nah it's fine I've just got all this stuff all over the floor now that's fine but yeah lots of free stuff if you want to go to an open day literally just go for the free stuff <laughs> that's probably not the best of advice but just the free stuff by itself just makes the whole experience so much nicer as well overall the vibe was very nice as well there were a lot of students that i talked to and just all of them felt like very easy to talk with and they were all very friendly they were very nice and that just overall 
was very good so i'm gonna give like i'll call it student inquiries so i would give that a good like solid nine out of ten or eight out of ten somewhere between that i'll say nine out of ten you know i'll be nice they're all very nice very easy to talk to if i was just standing around somewhere looking at the books and stuff they'd just come up to me and be like do you need any help and whatever it was very nice so it was just easy to talk with them and ask them questions about the course and stuff like that i went to uh, one of the like history people because i didn't want to feel bad for taking all the free stuff and just was asking them random questions about what it felt like to study at the university and i went to the library as well for the myland campus and it was a very nice library i went to the imperial library as well i was there not for the open day i was just there for um it was like some talk or something and the imperial library just looks very like everyone was just heads down working no one was talking it was dead silence and it just looked like everyone was suffering whereas the queen mary library everyone even though they were still studying it felt so much more like the tables were nice and spread out whereas in the imperial they were all like columns of tables it was like it just felt very claustrophobic in a way even though it was a massive space in this everywhere just felt like it was in little groups and then there was like lots of free space everywhere i've been explaining too much let me just go to me in the past talking about the library at green mary this isn't even the library at Whitechapel, which apparently is a really beautiful one guys the library is actually so cool i'm trying to be very quiet i don't know if you can hear me but they've got like standing desks even though everyone's like silent and working it still doesn't feel as like as like it doesn't feel like you're by yourself if that makes sense they've got like these like lockers behind me as well and yeah after just walking around the place and just really exploring it and stuff we came back home and we decided to take the bus home and just really like appreciate central london a bit and it, genuinely central london's so beautiful visit tfl.gov.uk slash central london bus changes before details this is details. not the same woman absolutely there's the shot as well at the start it was a bit like everything was a bit all over the place and I was getting lost because I didn't know where to go where the talks were and stuff but Queen Mary really redeemed themselves at the end I'm saying that like Queen Mary is not a really highly competitive university honestly right now I am considering applying to Queen Mary it really depends I need to go to a few more open days and really work out which unis I can apply to but I need to actually go to the open days actually see how it is I realized if you're a year 12 student open days are really really important in figuring out whether the university is for you because it's not just the fact that the how the course is laid out and whatever obviously that's probably the most important thing but just the overall vibe you get from the students there and from the the place the campus and the fact that Queen Mary University is a campus uni in London that's quite rare I'm pretty sure it's the only Russell Group University in London that's campus space when you're in the campus it feels like school in a way where you've got everyone there whereas with a lot of city universities everything's so much more spread out obviously i'm gonna have to go see more open days and just really get an idea of like all the different universities before i can really make a decision and yeah i don't really have anything else to say so overall ratings the aesthetics and overall campus for the mile end one specifically because i didn't go to the other ones was a solid seven out of ten not the greatest but not bad either like compared to the imperial one you know the main imperial campus i didn't really like that one it looked too much like a hospital they just gave me like the creep and then like the student inquiries that i call it or like friendliness like the ability to ask students questions i'd say a good solid nine out of ten it was very good and overall open day experience i would say it was a, a seven out of ten as well it was a bit all over the place but it still felt pretty good there was a lot of free stuff which really redeemed itself these are such <laughs> random things i'm basing it off of overall yeah that's that's really all i have to say about it. it was very good i am now very tired after for the whole day just being outside exploring the university now i'm at home i am probably going to make a few more videos like this if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more like it i'm probably going to make a few more vlogs based on the open days that i managed to go to depending on which ones i still go to because i've booked a few of them there's a few that i want to go to that have been fully booked but i'm probably still going to go there if they tell me shush i do not care i'm still going to see it you cannot stop me i don't care and yeah that's all i have to say so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it benefited you in some way if you didn't manage to go to the open day hopefully this video kind of like gave you a bit of insight on how it was from now until like mid-year 13 it's going to get very very messy i can just tell there's going to be a roller coaster of emotions i just know <sighs> it's like okay i know if you're still here i really appreciate you sticking around till the end of the video but like honestly if you saw my post about this as well it's like insane how this ucas stuff has come so fast it's just 
it's just a lot it's a lot at once and the fact that this summer I have to really think about work experience and like admissions tests and all that it's just it's it's quite a lot honestly hopefully we can get through it if you're in the same situation as me it's difficult I know but we can get through it don't worry I don't know about like the UCAT test and the BMAT stuff just actually they look so bad I don't want to revise anymore after so many exams now I've got more revision to do it's so depressing but honestly it's fine but yeah I hope you guys have a wonderful day if you haven't already and I'll see you guys hopefully very very soon so yeah bye for now make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and yeah comment down below any questions that you have bye